So you're saying to yourself, what did a bathroom in those days in the Banning House, what did they look like? Well, here's your answer. I understand that this in those days was the ultimate in, I, I hesitate to use the word luxury, but is that right? Absolutely. Having running water, warm running water in your home is amazing. And so this was put in, this bathroom was put in in the late 1880s, 1890s. And really you have your water closet, you have this huge cast iron tub, and then you have your sink. This is the girls' room. Mary had two girls that survived, and so this was their room, or we call this their room. And the screen in the back, that's a changing screen. A changing screen meaning? Meaning a girl would go behind there and get dressed with the help of another person with corsets and seven layers of clothing. You would need someone to help you a little bit, so. And this very colorful quilt on the bed, what is that? It's a crazy quilt, and they call it a crazy quilt because of all the stitching that goes on to a quilt like that. That's a quilt made by a lady who had a lot of leisure time. That's not something that was made by the average woman. We're standing now in the hallway, and I'm intrigued, Christina, to see uh, what I guess in those days was a baby carriage. Yes, it is a baby carriage or a pram. There's two bars right here on the side, and so they're fastened to the base and the carriage. So when the wheels go over, you know, as they're rolling along, the shocks, if you will, they allow the carriage just to bounce up and down instead of, you know, be jarred. You mentioned kids just now. Do a lot of school groups come here? Yes, we have a lot of fourth graders, especially because it focused, this house is focused on um, California state history, and then third graders are local history. So third, fourth, and fifth grade. This looks to me uh, like what the English would call the drawing room. What, what exactly was this or is this? We call it the family living room and it's one large room where the family could gather and either read or play games on this game table. Uh, this game table was given to Phineas Banning from one of his early business partners. It's from China. It's a puzzle table and it's marble inlaid with um, brass detailing. The fireplace is uh, enormous. I mean, is there any specific thing of interest in the fireplace? Well, it's just large and so grand, but it was hand carved by a German woodworker whose name was William Stotzner, and the oldest brother, William, had it put in here for his youngest brother, Hancock. Uh, right above the pianoforte is a grouping of family photographs. It's a very Victorian way of displaying the family. We have Phineas Banning or the patriarch in the center and then everybody else around. So we have his wife, his three sons, his oldest brother, and then his two daughters at the bottom and, and various other. And we're now standing in what is obviously the kitchen, but tell us a little bit about that huge black object um, that I guess again in that day was the thing to own. Yes, that's a garland stove and it's amazing. It has six burners that can be adjusted. The right hand side has a reservoir for water for maintaining hot water. And then the upper part is, the, is a warmer. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful stove, wood and or coal burning. And with two faucets there, I'm assuming that was both hot and cold water? Yes. In the 1920s, the youngest son added solar panels to the roof to you know, help uh, heat the water in, throughout the house. In 1920, he added solar panels? Yes, in between 1920 and 1925. What on earth is this weird looking thing here? It's a, an electric washing machine. An electric washing machine? Yes. So this was added at later, not during Phineas's time, but we have room for it in here. And it's a copper tub. And then on top, it even has the emergency release for if you, a lot of people got their fingers stuck in there in the rollers to dry the, you know, to squeeze the water out. As I said at the front, this is truly one of the most fascinating museums, uh, houses in Los Angeles. And if you've not been here, I urge you to come down here. This is John Cl Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're probably saying to yourself, well, with that such a big house, how did they get around? How indeed did they go to places? There's 
carriages that they would ride, or our horses, and they did use wagons as well. We can go right now if you like. We're standing in what uh, today would be called the carport, but uh, back then this was what? This was a barn. Phineas Banning built half of the barn for uh, his horses, and then the oldest son built this second part for his carriages. And of all these things that we see here, are there some that are more interesting than others? Yes, there are. This black one right here, the Peter's Brougham, that's like the limousine of the day. This one was $1,200 purchased in 1903. So that was quite so a bit. So in those days, that was a lot of money. Yes, that was. Okay. Thoroughbred Surrey and the Auto Top Phaeton, they are similar, but they have differences too. So this one is like the minivan of the day, the green one, <laughs> the Phaeton. And then the Surrey is more like the SUV of the day. And if you can compare them, you notice that the wheels, the diameter on the, on the Surrey is much greater than the ones on the Phaeton. So Auto Top Phaeton. So um, that's part of the reason why it's, a, it's more like the SUV. And then like the carriage, we were talking about the shocks. The yellow one and the red one have what are called thorough braces, and that was really an innovation of the day. They're those black um, strips on there. Instead of sh uh, springs like this here in front, you have shocks more like the leather strips there. So they would help distribute the weight more evenly and if you are going through some rocky terrain, it would be better on you and your vehicle. The horses that Phineas Banning used for his businesses, there were about 300 on this property. Horses How and many? Mules. Yeah, 300 I'm horses and more. mules. Christina, this has been an absolutely fascinating, really interesting time together. Um, my thanks for showing us around. Thank you very much, John. This is obviously not... <laughs> This is obviously not a bus from the modern era. It's one of the vehicles, if you can call it that, from the late 1800s, and it is one of the means of transportation in that era. This has been one of the most interesting trips that we've been on, and I urge you to come down to the Banning House Museum and see all the wonderful things that there are to do here. It is truly, absolutely riveting, and I know you, your family, and the kids We'll have a really wonderful time. As I head off into the sunset in this wonderful means of transportation, oh, by the way, uh, where's my horse? Don't worry about that. I'll find that shortly. Until next time, this is John Clayton saying thanks for watching. So long.